I'm going to be talking tonight about message theory, which is an alter alternative to macroevolutionary theory. It is scientifically testable. That is, it's risky. It makes risky predictions about the things we should see and shouldn't see in nature. Message theory claims that life was reasonably designed for three goals. The first one is life was designed for survival. That's not new. Creationists have always said that. But there's some other goals that have to be met simultaneously. The second one is life was designed to look like the product of one designer rather than multiple independent designers. That could be a design committee of many beings acting together as one. It could be a single designer. It doesn't make any difference. But life was designed to look like the product of one designer. And that immediately explains the unity that we see in life. That's intentional. That's an intentional part of life's des design. The third goal to be met simultaneously is even juicier. It's where a lot of the interest of this theory comes from. So life was designed for survival. Life was designed to look like the product of one designer. And life was also designed to resist all other explanations. And I mean all other explanations including Darwin's evolutionary theory, Lamarck's evolutionary theory, Stephen Gould's evolutionary theory, Michael Sivanen's evolutionary theory, Fred Hoyle's theory of evolution from space, and yours, whatever your theory is. Life was designed to resist them all. That's an interesting stew of design goals. All right, what message theory is not. Message theory does not expect uh, encrypted or encoded messages. Uh, it doesn't expect um, something encoded into the DNA. And there's, there's reasons for that. They're counter, such a message would be counterproductive because there's a language barrier. What, what language would you use? Hieroglyphics, Spanish, French? Whatever language you choose, there's a problem with communicating with anybody else. Also, encrypted messages don't serve survival. And that's one of the goals of message theory. Designs, the designs of life must serve survival and also be a message. And also, encrypted messages are altered or lost easily by mutation. You get a mutation in them and it destroys them completely. You can't decrypt them. So the, the, the message that's built into life uses a simple universal language that's based on biocomplexity and similarities and differences. Very simple. In other words, the alphabet, if you will, for this message, if there is such a thing as an alphabet for this message, is based on similarities and differences, which you can see. And because of that, it is often visible even to low-tech observers. It's not necessarily high-tech all the time. All right, message theory does not require certain things. It doesn't require us, it doesn't require universal acknowledgement of the message. That's not a design goal. It doesn't uh, uh, require perfection. That's, that's partly because perfection is simply very difficult for us to define scientifically. But it doesn't, as a scientific theory, it doesn't require perfection. It, it requires very good design, optimal design, something like that. It doesn't require, require falsification of all alternatives. And that's because some evolutionary theories are simply unfalsifiable. You can't falsify them. They're so flexible that they can adapt to anything. Also, some evolutionary theories are insufficient, such as the idea that uh, certain characteristics are lost during evolution. Well, that's not sufficient to explain macroevolution. So we don't have to worry about it too much in message theory. And in fact, some, fa some patterns favor message theory. All right, now we're going to jump into some of the interesting stuff. Biologic universals are features found in all or virtually all life forms. Some examples are DNA, RNA, ATP, that's the energy source of the cell, the genetic code, which you all know about, left-handed amino acids, which are used everywhere, uh, biotin, riboflavin, hemes, pyridoxin, vitamins B12, K.